Did you know that every year, America uses over 50 billion water bottles and that over 40% of plastic used is single-use plastic? Let me get this right. That's plastic that's been used one time and then tossed out. Exactly. And then that plastic ends up in our oceans, which is harming our environment. Not cool. Our environment is designed to break down and reuse materials. But plastic was designed to last for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it does that really well. So our environment is able to break down the plastic, but it can't reuse it. And so these pieces get so small, you can actually find them in the blood and tissue of living animals that have mistakenly eaten them. And that's really the problem with these single-use plastics, is that you use it one time, but it's gonna have an impact on the environment for generations to come. Well, today we're gonna give you some ideas on how to get more uses out of single-use plastics so less ends up in our environment. And today, we are going to make a self-watering planter out of a sports drink bottle. Here's what you'll need. A plastic sports drink bottle, a knife, some potting soil, twine, and a nail file. First step is to cut the bottle in half using a knife with a serrated edge. I like to use a marker to show where I'm gonna make my cut. Now you're gonna use your nail file to file down the edges. Okay, now our edges are nice and smooth. Use something to punch a hole in the center of the bottle cap. Use twine to insert in the bottle cap hole. Tie a knot so it doesn't pull through. The twine is really important because it's how the water travels up to the plant. Screw the lid back onto the bottle and flip it upside down. Put water in the base of the bottle. It's time to add your soil. And now we're gonna add our plant. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more soil. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna add our plant to the water. And that's the self-watering part. Okay, so the water's gonna travel up the twine and it's gonna go through the little bottle cap hole we made and right to the soil. Now this plant will be perfect and it'll grow huge. Probably as big as this tree. And that's it, super simple. We have a perfect self-watering planter and one less plastic bottle out there. And here are a few other ideas. Madison, I know you're excited. So how about you show us yours first? I took a plastic container, cut out the side, wrapped the twine around it, added on a few eyes, and made this cool planter out of it. I call it the plastic pig. But wait, pigs are pink. I couldn't find any pink twine, so it's a brown pig. Okay. I made this water bottle planter for a class project. It's a self-watering planter made out of plastic bottles. So what do you call it? Well, I call it the self-watering planter. Seriously? That's boring. How about the ultimate self-watering planter? That's more like it. Reducing plastic is all about taking responsibility for the plastic waste you generate. So find creative ways to reuse plastic. Hi guys. Hi. 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 What do you what are what are you doing here? Um, we're making planters out of single-use plastic bottles. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah. What Hunter and Madison are doing today is a great example of repurposing single-use plastics. But the ultimate goal, the way that we can really uh, get these plastics and other types of pollution out of the environment is just to use less. I'm so excited that you guys are doing projects like this. You know, single-use plastics are a huge issue for our environment. They end up everywhere. So I'm really glad that you guys were able to find creative ways to sort of reuse some of these things. Yeah. And now you'll get a lot more use out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get to grow my little plant. <laughs> and now you have a new friend. <laughs>